This is our leaky bucket demonstration. It consists of two buckets, a fill hose at the top, and a drain hose in order to keep the level of the water in this top bucket at a given value, which will represent the voltage of our power supply. We then have a hose that will then leak some water into this bottom bucket, which will represent our current flow into our system. This bottom bucket will represent our capacitor, which will be filled to a given level. And in order to demonstrate the leaky capacitor, we also have another hose that will drain some of the water, which will represent the current flow of the leaky part of that capacitor. If we allow the current to begin to flow into our capacitor, you will see the level of the stored charge within our capacitor or the amount of water that's in our bucket will begin to rise. If we simulate a leaking capacitor, there is some mechanism that is causing some of the stored charge to flow out of our capacitor as represented by this hose here. If the leaking is less than the input, the level of the water in our capacitor will still continue to rise, but not as quickly as if there was no leakage. But if the rate of leakage out of our capacitor is larger than our input, the level of the stored charge or the water level in our bucket will begin to diminish. And you will see that level decrease over time. There is a point in which we can find where the input current flow and the output current flow are equal, and this represents the value of the loss rate of this bucket. If you then compare the incoming current to the outgoing current, you can find a point where you can measure how much of the current is actually being leaked out of the system compared to what is being added. 